Don't be scared. Stand strong. Right now, Ferguson is burning down. It's serious. Black people aren't scared anymore. Mexican people, I'm talking about in the masses. All people. Say that. Every color, every race. We're rising around the world. So check this out. What we're going to do right now is we're going to have Xavier McGregor speak. He's done an amazing job bringing people together around this mobilization, the next day mobilization after they said Darren Wilson is not guilty, which ever, we knew it was going to happen. So I want y'all to, to give a round of applause to Xavier McGregor as he gets on the mic and let you know exactly why we're here. There are very specific demands of what's going on today. Ooh. Ooh, thank you very much, Nelson. Um, I want to thank everybody for gathering today. Uh, it's time for us to get this really started. Time for us to make our voices heard. Uh, when he says Uhuru, it means freedom. It's something that we use as a greeting. It's something that we use as a goodbye. It's something we go to sleep thinking about. It's something we wake up in the morning thinking about. Because freedom's on our mind every single day, 24-7. We say if you touch one of us, you touch all of us. Doesn't matter if you're black, white. This is a human rights issue. That's why we're all here today. I again want to thank every organization that came out today to support. I want to thank Ben Amin Prado for his call to join organization. This is how we're going to make this change. This decision was the, the, the nail in the coffin, and there's been plenty of nails put in. But this was the decision that made the statement that black lives are not going to matter to this system. But black lives matter to us. And so we're going to organize and we're going to rally and create some real type of unity in our community. <laughs> that might just be a chance. And so, again, what you see here is not just a black issue. What you see here is not just a white issue. This is an issue that affects every single one of us, every class, every creed, every religious belief, because this issue, whether you believe it or not, is it affecting you and your day-to-day -day life. And so we're making a call. This, this is us making our voices heard so that we can organize, so that we can link up because every single one of us should be sharing information, business cards, different forms of contact so that we can start real work in the community. We have organizing sheets because we plan to not just stand on a corner and make some noise. This is part, just a checkpoint in a long road that's going to lead towards our liberation and our freedom. And, 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 and don't be afraid of words like liberation and freedom. Don't be afraid of words like revolution. Because revolution is what we need. We need a change. We say we bring peace through revolution. That we are the real promoters of peace in our community. Because we do not stand by and idly allow any officer to murder one of our children in cold blood. This isn't about Mike Brown anymore. This has gone bigger and is beyond this issue. As I said, the entire world has marched in solidarity with what's going on in Ferguson. The entire world, from Asia to Africa to South America to Europe, is standing up and making their voices heard. And so we are joining in that cry that we will not sit idly by when young men and women are murdered and their lives are taken for granted. And this system, this system that we have tried hard time and time again to get justice from them by asking, by voting, by protesting, by showing them our true passions in our hearts. This system has failed us because it was never intended to serve us. Yeah. 
and, and I want to hear your voices, because when we say touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all, we're making demands for freedom and liberation, and we're bringing the action to follow through with it. So again, this is just the rally part. We got people filtering in from communities all over San Diego. I personally am not the only one responsible for this and will not take any credit as far as regards to the people who have been in the streets gaining people's support, gaining phone numbers so that we can contact them after the indictment, which we knew, we knew that Darren Wilson would not be indicted just based on the actions of the state. The actions of a hundred days preparing for this decision. Not a hundred days deliberating over whether Darren Wilson should be indicted for the murder of this young man, but a hundred days preparing for the response of the people. If they put that same effort and energy into hearing out our cries for justice, into hearing out our demands for freedom that they put into the police presence in response to, to enforce and protect private property and businesses because they don't serve and protect my community. Every time a police officer pulls one of my brothers and sisters over, a, a, a feeling of fear comes over them. Not, not